Yo! What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy AJ, back at you again with another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. You know how I like to keep it short, sweet, and simple, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. If you want to enter that $8 million giveaway, check the description. I was supposed to do the winner in this video, but nobody commented on my last video, and it kind of made me sad. So y'all go comment on my last video, comment on all the videos if you want to enter the $8 million giveaway. Y'all were smashing the like button on the last video, that's that's great, but if you if y'all want to enter the $8 million giveaway, you got to comment your PlayStation username down below and how much money you have in Grand Theft Auto 5 online as of now. So let's go ahead and jump into it, man. So I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate your Oppressor Mark II. Very simple. You're going to want to have your MOC parked kind of close to your bunker. So as you can tell, my bunker is right here. Uh, if you do have a different bunker, it's fine. Uh, just don't park your MOC too close, but you don't want it too far. Okay, so just kind of in the same area. Uh, from here, what you want to go ahead and do is put your uh, Oppressor Mark II inside of your MOC. So as you can tell, uh, your MOC needs to be empty. You need to have the personal base storage 3. You're going to enter enter it uh, with your oppression mark 2 you're gonna just exit simply exit okay now as soon as you exit the trailer what you're gonna go ahead and do is pull up the interaction menu okay so I pull up my interaction menu. you're gonna go down to services go down to the mobile operation center and you're just gonna uh, return it to the storage okay so return the whole thing to the storage and it'll eventually go away now what I, also what you want to go ahead and do is right before you um, walk into your bunker so as you can tell my MOC went back to storage okay I'm going to run all the way over here to my bunker. Do not request a personal vehicle. Okay, you just want to either steal a car or you just want to run across the street. This is why we parked it close. And I knew I was going to get hit. It's like playing fucking Frogger. Um, but you're just going to go ahead and run over here. And once you, before you enter your bunker, you're going to want to change your outfit. Okay, so it needs to be a different outfit than um, what you were wearing when you parked the oppressor inside your MOC. So I'm going to go down to style. I'm just going to change my outfit. It does not matter what you're wearing, okay? get the little yellow loading circle in the bottom right hand side of my screen I'm gonna go inside my bunker and from here I'm going to get on a golf cart okay I, I'm not too sure if it matters what golf cart you have but um, it works for me and I have the bigger ones so if you just want to go ahead and you know spend a little bit of money to make money you can go ahead and purchase the bigger ones but uh, I have the the uh, bigger ones I'm just gonna go ahead and get on them and from here just give me a second you're gonna get on it and you're gonna park it right here in this in this storage in this uh, bay 01 kind of exactly like where I do okay so whenever um, you try and get on the oppressor it's gonna actually glitch out so you're gonna park it kind of right there in that same area as I did it doesn't have to be the same exact spot just right there in that bay that parking spot okay you're gonna enter your MOC um, you should see your oppressor inside the MOC and as soon as you get on to the oppressor do not press anything else, okay, just the acceleration one time. So I'm going to click the acceleration and take all your fingers off the controller. Don't touch anything, okay. Now as soon as you spawn in, just like this, you're going to spawn in that parking spot and the, the cart's going to go ahead and disappear. You're going to click triangle, don't click anything else, okay, just click triangle. And the oppressor should just go ahead and stay there, okay. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and exit your bunker and you're going to go ahead and fly to your facility. We're going to be doing the vending machine glitch. Yes, it is still working. And if y'all want to know how to do the solo money glitch and make $1.7 million with this vending machine glitch, check the description. I'll have the first link. Um, the first link in the description will be that glitch video I've already made. And y'all can go check that out. This is how you do this glitch with Future Shock Issies. In this video, um, the glitch is still working and there is a way that you can duplicate, uh, duplicate oppressors now. I said duplicate duplicate oppressors so uh, from here I'm gonna go to secure serve do not request a personal vehicle I'm gonna get a buzzard and I'm gonna go ahead and fly to my facility so I'll catch you on a second oh okay so I forgot to mention also real quick if you fly over this military base and you get the cops on you just go ahead and call them off okay use lesser call them off also I forgot to tell you you need to have a free allergy in your facility and uh, hold on let me show you after I uh, most of you already know how to do this glitch but I'm just showing you how to do it to duplicate your oppressor, but you're going to click pause and you're going to open up. Make sure you can see all the missions on the map, okay? And also, I forgot to tell you, so <laughs> I forgot to tell you everything in the beginning of the video, man. I'm the worst YouTuber. No, I'm just kidding. I apologize. My fault. But um, you want to make sure you're in a free aim session. I don't know why the radio came out. But uh, you want to make sure that you're in a free aim session. So right here, and you can see in my settings, I am in a free aim. That's because you're going to be joining someone in a, a different targeting mode. He's does, he doesn't even know that you're joining him. But I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, my bad. Uh, I always forget to mention it because I feel like everyone should know that. So my fault. But, um, yeah, let me get back into it. Alright, so just a little refresher so some of y'all might be confused. You're in a free aim session. You bought a free allergy. You put it in your facility. You 
um, put your oppressor in the back of your MOC, return your MOC to the storage, entered your bunker, put the golf cart in the bay, you know, the parking spot, and then took your oppressor out, and you w exited your bunker, and then you flew to your facility. I know that might be confusing to some of you, but that's what you should be on right now, what steps. So once you enter your facility, most of you already know how to do this. This is not patched. I've had a lot of people tell me that this is patched. It's not at all. Okay. Rockstar, I don't, like I said in the last video, I don't know what they're doing, but um, you're going to go down here to the vending machine, okay? This time, we're not even going to do the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. I'm going to show you exactly when you want to click it, okay? Tank, this is for you. Um, my homie can't get it, so... So, you're just going to buy a soda, okay? Look at the animation real quick. As soon as he puts the drink up to his mouth, so right... I'm going to tell you when. Right... Now. Okay, so whenever he's drinking it just like that, he takes one little sip, okay? While he's taking that sip, you need to click square next, okay? So, I'm going to buy another one, okay? Make sure you have cash out. Go to the map, okay? I'm going to click uh, X and then go to a mission. As soon as he drinks it, click square and X. Boom. Just like that super super fast square and x super fast okay and I, I just hit it first try and i haven't done this glitch in a week okay super super easy uh now i'm about to show you the reason why you're in free aim okay so like i said the the, the last glitch if you don't want to duplicate your oppressor and you want to duplicate future shock is easy or you you know duplicate whatever car you're duplicating uh you can look at my last video i uploaded uh, i'll leave it in the description but um go ahead and just get into a free allergy like I, you know, forgot to tell you, but get into a free allergy because, like I said, I feel like people should just know that you should have a free allergy when you're duplicating a car. But anyways, uh, once you get into free allergy, you know, go down to the um, people that you can actually join. I'm literally just going to join the first person I see. I don't even care. Join. Hold down the acceleration right after you join them. So right after you click join, start holding down the acceleration. Keep holding down the acceleration. Do not let go the whole entire time. If nothing pops up, that just means it didn't work. So if you actually want it to work correctly, I, I would click here and go to view all because it'll kind of refresh it and show you the people that are in sessions as of now. So it'll refresh it for you just like this. It says now playing. And so this guy just started. We're going to click join session. We're going to hold down acceleration. Keep holding down, keep holding down, keep holding down, keep holding down. We're going to click X. X. Okay, that's fine. Just let go of the acceleration. Just let go. Of the, if it doesn't work, just let go of the acceleration and click circle. Okay. So from here, what we're going to go ahead and do is open up the PlayStation button. Scroll down. Go down. Once again, if that if that person didn't work, we're going to go down to players. We're going to go click view all. And we're going to go find somebody else to join. So let's, let's find somebody real quick. Come on, PlayStation. All right. Join session, hold down on the acceleration, keep holding down, keep holding down, keep holding down, keep holding down. We're going to click X, we're going to click circle, and we're going to click X, just like that. X, circle, X, and just keep holding down. Now now you can let go of the acceleration. Once, Whenever he gets out of the vehicle, that's when you can let go of the acceleration, okay? So as soon as you spawn outside, you'll notice that you're not at your facility anymore, or you spawn at a different facility. You just want to go ahead and go to secure serve. You're going to go to CEO Vehicles, and you're going to request your buzzard once again, okay? Now, from here, you're going to go ahead and fly to your bunker, and I'm going to show you what to do once I get there. Alrighty, so I'm pulling up on my bunker, alright? Um, like I said, if you want the, e I mean, not necessarily the easier version, but uh, kind of more of a beneficial version, uh, this is just, you know, people, if you know, they want to have a bunch of different oppressors and, you know, get them for free. You can sell the original one and keep the dupe. Uh, I would I would just keep duping the original one to be honest but um, from here what you want to go ahead and do once you enter the bunker uh, it's a little bit different from the car like, like I just said like five seconds ago if you want to do the one with the car it's not easier but you know you're actually making money doing it so from here what you want to do is get onto one of these carts because if you actually get on the oppressor and try and fly it around you will go outside of your bunker and the whole thing will be messed up so what you want to go ahead and do is kind of like knock it over on its side I would say like just wait till it gets knocked over on its side. So it will take a few tries. You're not going to get it first try if you do. Good shit. But right here, you just want to... As soon as it kind of gets past that curb right there, it'll kind of get knocked over on its side. But you want to knock it all the way over to there to your MOC. So right there, as you can tell, it, it uh, got knocked down on its side. So you can go ahead and get off the golf cart. And you can go ahead and just kind of like walk with it from here. Uh, you just want to go ahead and push it all the way to your MOC. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just cut this part. And I'm going to show you whenever I get it and what, it, what you want it to look like. 
So as you can see here, I'm just hitting it and hitting it and hitting it until it gets really close to the MOC. And then you're going to just go ahead and get off this. You're going to go ahead and get on it and make sure you can get the option to press right on the D-pad. So if you don't get the option to press right on the D-pad, that's totally fine. You just want to go ahead and straighten it out. So let me go ahead and cut this part again and go ahead and straighten it out for you guys. Didn't even have to cut it. Got it first try. So you're going to go ahead and get on the Impressor Mark II. It's going to give you the option to press right on the D-pad. You're going to get this alert. You're going to accept the alert and boom, you're going to have a duplicate inside of your facility and your original version will be right here inside the MOC and you can sell one and keep the original or uh, yeah sell one and then keep the duplicate copy but yeah man that's it for this video I'll catch you on the next one peace and uh, into that eight million dollar giveaway check the description y'all